Seven points for Wendell Martinez. Second quarter. Back inside of Bell Sports Arena, po saan itong si Coach Luigi Trillo. Ibinalik na si JV Casio at si Tony De La Cruz. Part of their starting unit kanina to try and re-establish some order. Dahil nga naman, we are in the midst of a 13 to nothing Petron run. Tapos ang unang atake nila results in a turnover offensive foul. And their turnovers are offensive fouls or bouncing it off their feet. So, ano yun? Dala yun ng depensa, yung intensity na pinapakita ng Petron Blaze Boosters. When you talk about forcing turnovers, they've got a number of turnovers here. Uh, or in the first quarter, they had nine turnovers uh -huh. to Alaska Aces, and then Petron scoring 14 of those turnovers. Then they give the ball to Coach Luigi Trillo. They cannot afford to turn the ball over against a high octane team like Petron. Asamani de la Cruz at Casio, sina Sunny Thos, Gabi Espinas, and Don Donon Tiberos. Katapat ngayon sina Kramer, Santos, Lanete, Lutz, and Lassiter. De La Cruz from 16 that finally stops the bleeding para dito sa mga alas. Well, they needed that. They need their veteran guys when things are chaotic to settle things down. If it's a basket or a big stop. Lutz in the lane. The looper doesn't work. Sunny for the board. Casho will try and shoot for the lead once again. JV. Iniwan para kay Sunny. Toss. Looking to attack, ito si Kramer. Kick out pass. Naantala ni Espinas, ito si Casio. Pero Espinas makes up for it by getting a hand up. Active hands for the Patron Blaze boosters. Whenever they're playing defense, they're not just moving their feet, but they're using their hands to be able to deflect that ball. Toss, taking a pass to Casio. He pulls up himself. The pink footer is good. In that first quarter, Magu, yung three-point shooting, Itong Petron Blaze Boosters, 6 out of 12. So 18 out of the 30 points na galing sa tres. Lutz has it slapped away by De La Cruz. Na last touch nga lang ang manakay team ng Alaska. As Fajardo checks back in para kay Kramer, Junmar will have to start nursing his fouls. He picked up two early in this game. Lassiter sa ilalim. Knockout play is good. If you're the Alaska Aces, you want to go back to a sunny toss to be able to get that third personal foul on Fajardo. How did they get their lead in that first quarter? Nung pa itong Alaska off those offensive rebounds. First basket of the second quarter yon para dito sa Petron. Alaska looking for their third. Another toss pull up. Another toss two points. 11 points para kay Sunny Toss already matching yung uh, kanyang pinakita last game. Marshall now has his Pina switching out on him. Lutz from that wing puts it on the floor. Lost his dribble. Marshall looking to get it closer. Kicks it out. Somebody's got to go. Chico misses. He's 3 of 5 from that distance. Pero ang bola nandirito pa rin sa Petro. Fajardo pleading for that leather. Naguluhan yung kanyang line of sight sa paglundag neto ni Thos. Alaska will have possession. Good active defense for Sonny Thos. And that's just picture perfect. Pag pinapostehan ka, pwede mong laruin. You kind of go three quarters fronting and then you try to make the passer decide anong klaseng pasa ang gagawin niya. To maybe force him into a turnover and that's what happened there. Kabagnot and Melsap checking back in para dito kina Lanente. And Lutz, kita mo naman yung ganda ng salubong ng bench ng Petron dito kay Chico Lanete after that spectacular run. Espinas bumalik na rin sa bench para dito sa Alaska. Makinis ang nasa sahig. Ibinalik ni Coach Trillo. Toss ending up with that leather. Pajardo looking to keep in front of him. Sunny looking to make his move. He spins. He goes up and under. Foul whistled on De La Cruz. Could have been a foul there on Sunny Toss off that offensive rebound. Thirty-three, thirty-two. It is still Alaska by a single point. Petron goes deep. Junmar, Ilwanang ring. 
think Ben Ajumar gets his own board. You know, I'm always happy when I see someone working hard for that basket and then making it. Jumar, mahirap yung ginawa niya. Tatlong aces yung uh, bumangga sa kanya. Then he was able to see this man get that basketball and make the two points. Second personal foul whistled on Marshall Lassiter. Cross metangan ng bola. Pull up jumper in front of Fajardo. No, McKinnis underneath. Tatlo kalaban na ilang. Toss. Gets them a third opportunity. Baseline jumper, De La Cruz. Inis tamuna. That's just 80 or 90% sure whenever Tony De La Cruz takes that shot, he's going to knock it down. Every single time, si Tony De La Cruz makakakuha ng tira from the baseline. Pansinin mo si Roy Lopez, kinililista na. Pansinin mo yan. Pahawak pa lang eh, no? Oh, ang ating statsman, he has seen Tony get it done all career long as Jun Marfardo is starting to make a name for himself underneath the boards. Back-to-back -back takes para kay Jun Marfardo. And if you're Sonny Toss, you don't want that because hindi mo na box out yung tao mo. 36-35, Alaska down by one. McKinnis hanging in the air. McKinnis gets his own board. Kasha looking for Wendell. Dadaan muna kay De La Cruz yung bola. Now McKinnis, sinalubong ng dalawa. Loses that leather. Kabagnot against two. Finding Millsap. The sidestep. Elijah, no go. And De La Cruz looking to slow things down for the Aces. Wisely setting it up. Alaska, you know, they were able to speed things up in the first quarter, but that, that's not really a case that they're comfortable with. 14 quarter is good. Para dito sa Cebuano hot shot. Palikang lamang sa Alaska. The Alaska is just one of the best teams in terms of executing the half-court offense. Kabagnot, out to Millsap. Mabalikan sana nila. Ito si Junmar, pero meron ng foul on the catch. No first quarter, lamang na lamang si Sonny Toss against that matchup on Junmar Fajardo. But here in the second quarter, after getting the two fouls, Fajardo has settled down and has taken advantage. And napansin ko dito kay Junmar Dom, every single time na Somebody comes out to sun him or mama ma in siya or lalamunin ng depensa ng buo yung depensa niya or offensa niya. Within the game, he somehow finds the adjustments. Parang yung laro nila contra San Miguel that fateful Saturday night. First half nun, apat limang beses siya nabutatan. Nila Big Reese, nila Blakely, Yancey, and Rivas. Pero pagdating na second half, siya naman ang nanukli ng mga butata dun sa kabilang laban. Well, that's a good sign if you're the veteran Blaze Boosters because Fajardo, that means he's a smart player. Or if not, kung hindi man siya kayong naka-figure out nun, Kung sinabi ba ng coach yun, that means he listens to his coaches. Hindi lang coaches, ano, pati si Lakay, Daniel Deponso, isa sa mga project niya dito sa Petron. E itong si Jun Marfardo. 38-37 na sa ating dalaan. Petron, up by one. Ay, mabuk na tayo. Back inside of Phil Sports Arena, kung saan sisilipin muna natin ang ating Greg Zona Power Rebound. Wendell Makinis ang bibida. Napakarami na niyang pinakitang power rebound so far in this first half. Brought to you yan by Rick Zona Man with 50% more long-lasting protection so you can do more. You know, we talked about how Alaska is a team that executes well on the half-court set. Dito sa ating uh, first two quarters or pretty much quarter and a half. Nakaka-12 na na turnover ang Alaska Aces and they only average 17 for the entire game. Santos misses on that free throw. Believe it or not, oh! before tonight, uh, Dom, Arwin Santos, yung kalidad ni Arwin Santos, uh, he's only taken, or he was only taken, he has only taken three free throw attempts. Ngayon lang niya natagtagan niya. What gives? Is he settling for mid-range jumpers now? or? Well, he's getting a lot of offensive rebounds. And uh, not getting fouled in the process. And meron din siya mga breakaways. So, and if you remember, ano bang nangyayatin sa Petron Blaze Boosters yung hiling mga laro nila? Lahat ang lalayo, ang lalaki ng labang. So, teams opting not to foul him anymore. As we send it over to Riza. Magunong huling hodl ng Petron, Alex Kabagnot was very vocal in telling everybody, we have to get that rebounds. At yun din ang sabi ni Coach G, wala nang small, wala nang bigs, all five crash the boards and get that rebound. Magu? Eh, dun nga sila sinasaktan ng Alaska so far in the second quarter. Alaska led by as much as 10 in the first quarter, but a 13 to nothing run. Gave Petron back control, pero ngayon na, seesaw battle tayo, palitan lang ang abante at the midway point or past the midway point of the second quarter. 
Alaska is one of the better teams in terms of getting offensive rebounds. So that's why Coach G is telling them, hindi pa pwedeng big man lang ang kukuha ng rebound because even the small guys or the guards for the Aces try to get rebounds. Millsap at the post, tutulong si Casio kay Otiveros. They look for the open man. Arwin puts it up over Casio. He's got that shot all night long. Arwin Sato is one of the best of getting that fade away. And then napakataas kasi nung lipad niya. Tapos yung pagbaba niya, hindi abrupt. He doesn't go up and down quick. He goes up, stays in the air a little bit, and then down. Kabagnot with a steal, playing the lanes once again. Yan naman na sinusukli ng Petrona. No? If Alaska is keeping themselves in this game because of their offensive rebounding, etong Petrona naman, their steals, their turnover force, that is what's gotten them this three-point lead. Lassiter couldn't pull the trigger. He attacks Etong Sikasho. Jump hook doesn't work. Baggio back on the floor looking to push the action. Skyros, the one hander doesn't work. That time a little bit too quick of a shot for the Alaska Aces. Pull up jumper, Millsap couldn't deliver. McKinnis with yet another rebound. Alaska still lording it over in the rebounding department. It's starting around 23 compared to just 16 for the Petron Blaze boosters. Ontiveros gets it to Baguio, stopping on a dime, spinning the other way. Eman secures that rebound. Don Don for three. No go. Eman on the follow is fouled. Quality minutes para kay Sam Eman. He got that third personal foul of June Mar Fajardo, and he's now making the other big men of the Petron Blaze Boosters work hard to try and stop him off that offensive glass. Eman takes care of the first free throw. As we invite everybody once again na makitutok sa Cine Filipino Kwento Ang Hari. Mapapanood simula Setiembre 18 hanggang 24. Split galing kay Eman. Less than four minutes remaining in this first half. Alaska down by two. Looking for the stop. Kabagnot over to Millsap. He explodes to the basket. Crashes to the floor. And will have to earn his two points from the free throw line. We talked about the demeanor of Elijah Millsap. That was a hard foul. And that was a hard fall. That would hurt, but stands up a lot of other players Mapalokalo import would be getting right up and into the face of whoever fouled them there at the minimum dirty it was just a hard foul as a Bueva checks back in para dito kay Eman Espina sasabay din para naman kay Baguio dun sa mga hindi nakakita itong uh, bench ng Alaska Aces well, everybody standing up and giving Sam Eman a high five for a job well done Medugo. Nanatanaw ang ating officials. Is it on Kramer or Tubid? Looks like it's on Millsap. Ah, kay Millsap mismo. So they will have to try and stop the bleeding or control that gash or otherwise paupuin muna ito si Millsap. Well, the Alaska Aces playing a little bit better dito sa second quarter. That was a big turnaround by the Petron Blaze boosters at the end of the first quarter because of that three-point shot and also because of their defense. And one thing I like about Petron, pag tinignan mo yung mga laro nila, hindi sila masyado nagre-reklamo sa mga referees. They're not bothered by the calls. Really focused on winning the ball game at the game plan. At 6 and 1, wala ka naman siguro ire-reklamo na. No? <laughs> Mas malalayo pa yung agwat. Ano? But that just goes to show you also that they understand that they need to work hard on defense to be able to make the games easier. They just want. They just like putting opponents away as early as possible. Para naman yung bench crew nila magkaran time din. Back to live action. Okay, na raw yung naging sugat o gas gas ni Millsap in Alaska. Almost lost it. Na last touch nga lang si Kabagno. Alaska for sure at the half. Coach Luigi Trillo will remind them we can't be too careless with that basketball. Wala ano yung moho ka nun. Ito ni Calvin Abueva. Pati yung kanyang headband. Actually, medyo matagal na niyang tinanggal. As Abueva comes up with a... McInnes, wala on the follow. 
little bit emphatic on the rebound. Here comes Belsap sa kabilang dulo. Kabagnot lines it up. Rebound battle. Lalabas, last touch yung Abueva. Kahit mintis yung tirang yun, pero yung ikot ng bola ng Petro, napakabilis. Flattening. Pati music Last time around, itong si Wendell Makinis, nag-video ki daw. At ang kinanta... Kantahin mo nga! All by myself. Kantahin mo nga, paano ba yan? Ikaw may alam mo. Kantahin mo naman. Ano naman, 32 points, 15 rebounds, 3 shot locks para sa kanya, but he did not get ample support from his locals. Sige, ayaw mo kantahin. Si Riza na lang. Yan. Kala ko, pasasayaw mo na lang. Riza? Mago para siguro doing hindi na raw siya maiipit ulit sa traffic ha. Itong si Wendell Makinis would leave an hour earlier than the usual. It's not that he didn't enjoy daw the MRT ride. According to him, inaawa lang daw siya doon sa mga taong nasisigipan dahil nga nakasakay siya sa MRT. Mago? Eh kahit naman siguro ako magre-reklamo kong katabi ko sa... <laughs> Di ba pag MRT para kay Sardinas doon? Punos puno. Katabi mo ganyang kalaki? Ang kuya naman, di ba dapat dalawa bayat mo? <laughs> dalawa sa gilo. Di ba sardinas, maliliit na <laughs> Magkakasidla kayo. As diba? Bilsap stretches this Petron lead to its largest of the evening. Six points. Alas ka po, lumamang na yan hanggang ka sampu. And that is what you've been talking about, Tom. Check out the defense. We talked about active hands. Elijah Millsap. He was right there. Tama yung defensive stance pero pati yung kamay niya, ginagalaw niya. He was able to tap that ball out and then coming off, Gabby Espinas. Kasi si Espinas, parang po protection na lang yung bola palabas. Hindi niya akalain, mag-hustle pa yung kanyang kalaban. Ayun, sa kanya pa tumamatuloy yung bola. As Arwin Santos gets that hang time layup, he's got six in total, walo na ang abante ng Petron. I really like how the Petron plays boosters. Yung demeanor nila, it looks like they're all business. You know, in their first seven games, and this is their eighth Pinapakita nila na talagang focus sila to get what? A championship. Tandaan yeah. natin ha, at 6-1, and one, itong Petro na lang has, with two games remaining, is the only team in the Governor's Cup right now that can get to seven wins, which means one more win either tonight or Sunday against Global Port, top seat na sila pagdating ng playoffs. Cross on the move, fouled in the act. Two teams you don't want to face right now, the San Mick Coffee Mixers and the Petron Place Boosters, because their confidence, their rhythm is just there. So, maasagit sit lang talaga, no? Oozing out of those locker rooms, those ball clubs, those organizations right now. Boss wanting to put a halt to this major run in the tournament by Petron. He's got 13 points. One point over his average. So, kung nung nakaraan, all by myself, si Maginis. Maginis. Ano kaya ngayon ang kanta niya? Maginis, iba naman yun. Iba na lang iniisip. Ano ba mamaya pa yun? Mamaya pa, mamaya pa. Ano sa otyo pa lang pala? Mamaya pa, mamaya pa. Agueva. Hearing it from the Petroniverse Independence gets it over the cross. Sapoy, mintis lang para dito kay Sunny. The one thing you know when the crowd is booing you, that means may halaga ka dun sa team na yun. As Millsap is whistled for the offensive foul, Abueva picks it up on the Petron import. That's one way to get um, Calvin Abueva's go game going as well. When he gets those offensive rebounds, mas ginaganahan siya, tumataas yung talo niya when he tries to get those offensive rebounds. Casho shovels it out. McKinnis over to Ontiveros. Offensive foul whistle there. Sunny Thos whistled for his third person. That's tough for Sunny Thos because he's been playing so well. Then Mapapa upu siya. Well, Coach Luigi will have to decide kung Papa upu niya with three personal fouls. Masusugal dito si Coach Luigi because they want to take back momentum heading into the dugout. Santos for three. Doesn't work. Now na si Abueva, di nakita ni Ontiveros. Don Don off the crossover, finishing with a left hand. Niluwa pa ng ring. McKinnis and Tubid battle for it. Casio to Abueva, nakita si Don Don. Ontiveros po, tatay na abot kay Kramer. Ball goes out of bounds, still in favor of Alaska. And this entire first and second quarter, that's the first time I saw nobody help out. Dun sa layup na yun ni Ontiveros yung una, pero yung pangalawa, nakita mo, naka-adjust na sila. 
they were able to help out and block that shot of Ontiveros. Calvin Abueva a little frustrated here. He ex he was looking for the outlet pass nung una, and then on the reset, he was looking for the pass back. Yeah, medyo nakasimangot dun si Calvin as he's uh, lining up for this inbound. Kasho, catch and shoot. Punches it through! We talked about momentum. You want to go and get that coming into that halftime. JV Kasho knocking down that three. Perfect play para sa Aces. And a personal foul is whistled on Doug Kramer. Four-point play opportunity para tayong para dito kay JV. Kasho bounces the free throw out. Rebound battle. Arwin tracks it down. Petron can go for the two for one. Tatalisit niya lang. Itong si Elijah. That's what we were talking about. Nagbackfire. Yung pag-iwan kay Thosa sa Heg. Well, let's see if we can get a replay of that play. From that angle, hindi mo nakita kung talagang sumabit doon sa paa ni Sunny Thos. Alam ko sa paa o doon sa pintura. <laughs> sa linya. O mga bigla. <laughs> And now Sunny Thos will go back to the bench. So yung 2 for 1, nakuha pa rin dito ng Petron. 5.7 second differential between the quarter clock and the shot clock. You know, Alaska, they may not agree with that call. But the good thing about it is they're not complaining. You know, they're still, they're just keep on playing. McKinnis against Kramer. Puts it on the hook. Ah, si Doug. Wanting to throw it there. Gets the basket. Make a Saba Bang foul. Wow. Talk about strength. Wendell McKinnis. Nalusutan. It was Doug Kramer. That's a bump right there. And then Santos. Sinubukan habulin. And still having that power and strength. Nabangga ka na sa buelo. Nabangga ka pa sa lundag. Nakuha mo pa rin yung two points. Mintis nga lang yung bonus, so the free throw shooting of Alaska, suspect late in the second quarter. Dalawang pagkakataon yung kanilang nasayang doon. Tapto pa rin ang abante ng Petron. Four seconds remaining. Millsap lines it up. Bang! Nakanakaw pa si Tubid. Nang hinayang doon si Tubid at si Kabagnot. So just when we thought Alaska was gonna steal the momentum away from Petron, Nakagawa ng paraan si Milsa, pati na rin si Tubid to get control right back. Lamang ang Petron ng anim, 51-45.